All right, and welcome back, everyone, to this week's competition series episode where, as you can see, we are on Parquet Fernando. And happy to be down here because I have not played this map in a little while. I really enjoy it. I love looking for water buffalo, too. There's something about them. I just, I really enjoy hunting the water buffalo here. But we are here for the Axis deer, and we have to take those with the any of the compound bow. So that's what we're going to be doing is trying to get on a diamond axis with our compound bow. And the second award we can do is the sniper award. We can do that two more times. We can get in the top three one more time still. And this is week four of eight. So, But the sniper award, we can do this two more times because we haven't done it yet this season, which is going to be quite a challenge with a compound bow. Then the other award will be for the Jackalope Award, which we can do uh, one more time this season. And that's looking for the smallest male Axis deer. And I try to keep my eyes out for that. It's going to be hard here on Parquet because I'm just all over the place. So we have our 7mm, which we haven't pulled out in a long time. Very happy to have it out. That will be a lot of fun. Got it right here. Looking forward to using it. And then we have our bow for our axis and our Solican for the black book. So, ought to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to this weekend. I'm going to try to put in quite a bit of time. We'll see how this goes. But, I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Alright, so we're sneaking up on a herd of axes that I spotted a little level one in. Here's something running right by us here. Find that one out of there. Everything's nice and calm, which is good. I, there he is. I was gonna say I thought he was behind a female. So if we can get him to not be behind the female here in a minute, we will try to take this shot on him. That's a female. There he is. Now, currently the Jackalope Award is sitting at 38.36, and this little guy was 24 to 65, so he has a chance. The smallest one I've seen. Man, I don't know if that female's ever going to move. Maybe we can try it with, well, got to load. Can't even spot him. I'm not sure if they call that a yeah. Huh? He might have made a move. I just don't know where he's at. Female certainly didn't care. Hmm, there he is. All right, if we can get him to stand out in the open, that's what we're talking about. Walking over to the 60 yards. Well, Changes it a little bit. Might be able to just gotta make sure everything's ready. Pretty rough angle. Huh. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be tough. Snuck it in there and dropped him straight down. I think we made it. We had to get up, be able to range him with it before he, before his highlight went away, or we would have lost him completely. And then let her rip. Uh, 
and that was a tougher one especially still a little early in the morning that little bit of darkness makes it a lot harder to see but we did drop them with a vital wonderful let's see we needed to be on we needed to beat a 38.6 and no 5502 but got a nice liver lung there took him down so we're looking for quite a bit smaller yet at 38.36 and that's a 5502 so we'll keep giving it a chance but as you can see it's going to take a very small jackalope already for us but that was that was pretty fun and a good practice that that's for sure 90 yards no problem Somebody got stuck right in the butt. <laughs> uh, deal. Maybe we didn't clip that liver, that would be nice. One. Yep, that's the one we got right in the back of this leg. Didn't happen. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I just, I shot one, took the second shot and just dropped the dude. <laughs> oh, let's hope that's a good shot. It looks like it's a back a little bit, but hopefully caught the liver. I'd seen a level one over there. Oh, there he is. And uh, man, that's a horrible angle to try to take it from here but we did drop this guy if we get over there and take that one from the same herd that'd be kind of fun that was i'm hoping that's a 200 yarder if he man, feels like it's in the liver maybe hopefully it's not all guts but it's still pretty cool hmm Gonna need some more arrows. Oh, did we hit him? Oh, we did! <laughs> Dropped him straight down. <laughs> I don't know where it hit though. Oh man, that's two drops out of, I don't know, what is there, half a dozen arrows? I see five for sure. Oh, there's two in the tree, so that's six, yeah. <laughs> Let's go see what we did here. <laughs> Crazy. All right, so here's the two. Oh, they both say vital, so that's good. <laughs> We're gonna go with the small guy first. He was the second one we took. Get all these red tracers. Let's see. Yes, that's vital, and he's a 54.28. And as far as jackalope goes, that's not gonna cut it. Kinda hoping to get them both in there because the jackalope was 38.36. But he is a 200.6 yard shot right there. Wonderful. Let's get it. We'll save that just in case that wins the sniper award because current sniper is sitting at 196.25. And this was 200.6. So this is the current sniper as I speak until we pick the next one up if it's as good. But 
there. Got him at 200 yards with our bear claw, and that is awesome. The li or, uh, lung liver right there. So I think he was kind of quartering to us. So yeah, we dropped it in at this angle here. That, see how, that, how much arc there is? That arrow comes dropping in <laughs> at that angle. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, and here's the other guy. The first one we hit early on, and we look like that should be in the liver right there. You can see the arrow. Hopefully that... There's the fletchings. I should have caught liver. Of course, we have the vital there, so I'm sure it is. Yep. Yep, we caught the liver and the one single lung there. So that's great. And that is 212.2 yards. So now this is the <laughs> the uh, longest shot. So we'll get our screenshot of that. And we'll put him in the save. Just in case he wins at 212.2 yards with the bear claw. So that was a lot of fun getting a couple snipers in and both of them would have took the lead. But this guy is our current leader. So happy to get him in and give us, that gave us a 12 more yards. So that's a, a nice little extra pad. Very, very happy to have that. But uh, i sure to get our screenshots. We'll have to get our harvest screen after this, but all right, what a great way to start. Let's uh, see what else we can find. Ah, uh, there he is. That's a big boy we're looking for. I knew I'd spotted one. But he's facing right at us. Mostly downwind. Behind a tree. Doesn't get much harder. I'll give it a shot here. I would have liked to got the bow, but you can't get to him. On the other side so I worked my way around it's just that hill right there and it's all you know brushy there mm, can't get that close Thank you. Push him right out there for us. Still calm, so that's good. That was that female there kind of shoved him out from behind the tree, which is nice. Let's see. I hate being too close to the tree because it might actually catch it. I think we can slip the heart here. Ah, oh, there he goes. Nice. Well, we're not going to waste any more time. Let's see if we can get our 7mm in there. Should be a nice, good, solid hit there. 50. Nice slow hit, so we got a single long. I think that angle I need to be more forward on the heart, but I have to just focus on the elbow area. Zero, so we'll go check him out up there. All right, awesome. There he is. The one animal after I saw this I wanted to go for, and let's hope he made it. Nice big old water buffalo. I just, I really love hunting these guys. They're, they're just so cool. And yes, diamond 169.14 at 26.17. Their max weight is 27.56, so he is no monster. So 169.14, and their minimum is 167.5. So we made her by about one and a half, and that is good enough. Get him taxied. It's been a while since we've had a water buffalo. Yeah, we're way back. So yeah, I should have at that angle. I should have went for the front of the shoulder. I knew better, but I was just sinking it in. Make sure we cut that long. At 166.96 yards with our seven millimeter, it still does the job. Just gets the one lung, but that's all it takes. And we've got a beautiful water buffalo trophy diamond in the lodge 
hopefully there are some more water buffalo out there for us to find this weekend but this made my weekend for sure <laughs> we set up for some cinnamon teal because i happened to catch a level three and there he is coming in but he's on alert so i'm a little bit worried he's not gonna land because i came in from downwind Here he is. Right, he's down to attentive, so that's good. Ah, he's gonna fly behind us, so. Nope, there he comes down right there. We will take him with the 22 as soon as we get a chance to get him. Well, oh, there he is. Right here at 40 yards. Ha, ah, love it when a plan comes together. Don't want to waste too much time. They like to fly off. Now, come on, game. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Yes. Love it when the plan comes together. Put in the work, put the decoys up. Grab the tripod, here we go. Let's see. I don't think I've ever been trolled on a bird. And yes, diamond 4.63. And they are to be 4.62. So we just made it, what a beautiful diamond. Super happy to have one of these. I have not had a diamond cinnamon in a long time. There were so many. You know, before Reven Tilly, the waterfowl were so messed up for such a long time that uh, it's nice to be back here and see it come together with them. So, just get him taxied. Man, that is awesome. This was not a trophy I expected to get this weekend. But when I, hap I happened to see a three and busted him out of here, so I set up. And there we go. He finally came back in. I was just about to leave and go and try to do some red deer hunting. And reset my time and I almost did it and I heard him coming in and I thought I was about to get down and I heard him coming in so whoo glad I didn't hop down I mean it's, I can't tell you how close anyway at 46 yards with the 22 we've got our one pounder right here 4.63 a beautiful diamond cinnamon teal all right so we are out hunting the red deer and we found this herd we found that guy right there. Oh, I don't stand in front of him. Stay still. There we go. He's about 3.30, so I think we're going to let the uh, 7 millimeter fly from here. Go ahead and lay down just just because I think we're higher than the water enough. Get a nice shot here. It's been a while since we put a 7 millimeter into a red deer, that's for sure. And he's already down in. We're going to get delivery. And then we'll find out, so we'll see if he made it. All right, well, here he is. Finally made it in. Let's see if it was worth the wait. Oh, no. 244.6. Big old troll. Should have seen that coming. But that's all right. Happy to had the opportunity. 251.07 is where we need to be. We are a good six away, so. But the 7 millimeter reached out there and double lunged him at 324 yards Got a nice double lung. That's some good distance to double lung on these bigger uh, species like that. So very happy with that. Having a lot of fun with the seven millimeter. I'm glad I remembered. I, I was trying to figure out my loadout, like for weight and what I can carry, because it bows so much weight. And I'm like, oh yeah, the seven millimeter. I haven't used that in a long time. So glad it's there. And now with our little one weight 243 handgun covers all kinds of uh, options even though we're not using it this time but I don't know the loadouts are just getting better and better all the time all these different options you just got to kind of piece them together like a puzzle well, I found a very good size level 4 collared peccary but it goes up to 153 they have to be 144 uh, I don't believe he's gonna make it I have no confidence in that but Definitely have to get him out of his little group because he could. Let's 
seven maggle. Put a peccary right in the dirt. Well, let's check him. And he's a gold 138. Not too far. Not too far off of that diamond potential. 144. Pretty big four. One of the biggest I've probably ever shot for a four. But he didn't make it. Well, that's going to do it for us here in this week's competition where we were on Parquet Fernando and we were after the Axis Deer with the Compound Bow. And I'm happy to say that we won the Sniper Award with our Axis there on the right, that 212.2 yard shot that we got on him with the liver or lung, I believe. And we just snuck that in there to, to capture that that prize so we did get that award now we've got one of each of the three awards and I believe this was week four so we've got four more weeks and we've got three more awards to still go for so it's working out very nicely for us again this season in addition to our sniper award over there we came away with the beautiful diamond water buffalo which is once I saw it was parquet that's what I set out for I was like I really want to get on those water buffalo whenever I get time and it's during their drink because I I haven't been over there in a while and they're a lot of fun and I enjoyed it and then our other little trophy over here came from the north shore up there where I had happened to spot a cinnamon teal that I spooked off and I was able to set up a tripod and then set up our decoys to see if he'd come back in and sure enough, he finally did. It took a long time. It wasn't like on Revan Tuli where you set up and ducks just come in or geese come in just like nonstop. It was not like that. But they did come into the decoys. As you saw, he flew right down, landed right into it. And we were able to take that shot. Luckily, he didn't take off because he was hiding behind the tree there for a little while. That kind of made me nervous. I thought it wasn't going to happen for half a second, but glad to have made that happen so our two diamonds and our sniper award is what we came away with this week i couldn't be more happy about that so again we've got one of each of the three awards so that gives us one of each more to do in the next four weeks and I look forward to seeing what we get to go to this next weekend as always if you enjoyed the video please subscribe and stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel if you didn't thank you for watching this long back to work on our next video until then